A glow with flames and glistening slime, the strange beast looks at you almost expectantly. The bizarre creature utters a series of gurgles. It seems to be gesturing towards deeper in the cavern. The creature warbles incoherently, shaking its bulk towards the bowels of the cavern. The fiery blob creature continues to flail and gurgle. Not drawing many winning cards of late, but I won't be crying over it.
Lassen Sie es.
All right. I... I just... They do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to me what they did to him. Not seen. Heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers. Something about God woken. He didn't know anything, but they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something. Eating him from the inside. No, no, no. It can't happen to me. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. Outside, the bones are gnashing. In here, the magisters are, are cutting, slicing, grinding, smashing. What to do? Uh, what to do? Poor thing. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death, then. Decapitation. Yes, I do wish that for you. Now, take care. Take care. Got a good reason for barging into a private room, buddy. And? Got no reason to scramble out, me. It's hot and busy out there. School and quiet in here. Or at least, it used to be. Ow! You must be mad. Head out one way, you're back in the joy among the rabble. Head out another, you're knee deep in the hollow marshes. I'll take a nice, quiet cell any day of the week, and twice on Lucian's day. Before you go, you haven't met a particular fella here, have you? Tall, black beard, intense way of looking at you. Punch up for metaphor? Wouldn't be surprised if you'd met him before. Fella gets around, believe you me. Half of me's afraid he's gonna try and save me from this place. Anywho, thanks and good luck, I guess. Though, if you know what's what, you'll take a load off and let the dice fall where they're gonna fall. This won't be of any use. You peer at the statue and recognize the face as that of the goddess Amadia. You read something about her once long ago. The droplet burns both hot and cold, and yet you feel no pain. You step towards the flow, desiring more, wanting desperately for it to take you, and darkness envelops you. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you! Surprisingly, the elf musters a sober frown of indignation. <sighs> the pain is great, but my senses aren't gone. Not yet. I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for, but you, you, there's still hope. You'll know. They'll find you. They'll seek you out. That's their job. Get it? Yes, yes, of course you do. You need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something. My head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. He giggles coquettishly, then bellows like a bear. <laughs> Leave! 
I knew a man named Ollie, and he was all I... Sorcerer! Please. What do you think you're doing, prowling around inside the fort? Don't think so. You broke the rules by coming down here, Buck. Divine's rules. You know, I almost feel bad for you. Lucian is coming back, and you'll have to answer for that. Why don't I spare you that right here and now?
to none.
Please. <laughs> Please. Healing. I need healing. A shepherd in wolf's clothing. They beat me for helping sorcerers. Children. We were trying to... to help them escape. I joined this order to serve the divine. He would not... would never accept this torture. It is slavery. I serve the divine, not his son. I'm no fool, but his legacy is alive in all of us who who long for justice we can't can't have that while his relics are being used against civilians they beat me for helping sorcerers children we were trying to they remove all the source from within the husk that remains is left empty, soulless, easily controlled. There's a boat that can take you into the dunes beyond. Two associates of mine run it. I can show you where. But they'll kill you on sight if you don't know the proper password. Heal me, and I'll gladly tell you. I... I feel it at work upon me already. Thank you, my friend. There is... a waterway. A boat. Hand me a map. It isn't far. You'll meet some associates of mine. Tell them Madame Zur sent you, and they'll let you pass. Enough to matter. Not enough to stage a coup. The Void Woken have people terrified, not only for their lives, but for the very air they breathe, the sun that shines upon them. Dallas and Alexander offer a solution. People need solutions at a time like this, no matter the consequences. Some people, anyway. No, I imagine not. She's the headmistress of an orphanage in the far north, she keeps sorcerer children safe from the Divine Order. I can think of no nobler soul in all the realm. With her help, we've saved countless children from Dallas and Alexander. And we aim to save many more. You've given me a second life. I won't soon squander it. Or forget what you've done. Thank you. Healed. Thank you, my friend. I will settle this debt.
I know where this leads. As the alcove opens up, you see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh, perhaps? Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh. It's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. It seems the human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. I chased her here, but she rather seems to have given me the slip. Thus... He turns back to the body, prodding at its face cautiously. Why, its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Because my own was stolen from me! And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal. Oh, get away! Monster, hide the children! Oh. You are simple beasts. And you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. 
Indeed. No one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather... absent. At least from this realm. As for the others... Well... There is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. A cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Ah, well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner, and the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm, or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here, but I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. Well, that hardly seems relevant. But if you must know, I was inconvenienced for a time. Several centuries, in fact, or perhaps millennia, one tends to lose track. I was sealed in a tomb for daring to be curious about the world. It seems our king did not agree that the universe should be explored to its full potential. Perhaps I should thank him. It seems I was spared whatever happened to the others. I wonder if flowers would be appropriate. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, shall we get on? Splendid. Although, it seems you already have... Perhaps you should try discarding some grit before you help yourself to a pearl. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Her eyes lock with yours for a moment. She places her head on her knees and sits quietly. The child doesn't lift her head from her knee. Welcome here. Go, man pig. <sighs> this is my mistake. You are no pig. I am no bull. Please, just leave us.
transforming. What did something? Even the most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. I wasn't prepared for that. What now? Look at you, all enthused. Good find. Muffled sounds suggest that this scuffed old door leads up to the fort's main floor. It's bound to be crawling with magisters. Whatever lies ahead, it has been a pleasure travelling together. The more the merrier. It's been too long since my last bloodbath. The creature before you stares with sightless eyes and leans from side to side like a puppet without strings. That's an abomination is what it is. I can't stop staring at it. 
Ain't this creature's fault someone stole its mind? Poor thing. But it's kind of fascinating, isn't it? Tiny laceworm crawls from between the creature's stitch. What's this? I found something. dangerous but maybe I can disarm it I should neutralize this thing before it does damage. A trap. Better give it a wide berth. Looks like this place has been sealed up for a century or two.
Reveal yourself! Here lies Withermore, the cold-hearted. Won't budge. Here lies Withermore, the supplicant. You sense a great whirl of energy within the jar. From its depths, a faint voice howls. This must be the container that holds Lord Withermore's soul. Withermore held his end of the bargain. We should hold ours. It would be cruel to keep a man's soul when we could easily free it. The jar smashes to smithereens on the floor.
as my
not. 